Well, right now we're in my little corner of the world where I spend a lot of my time. This is my computer, and as you can see, I have the etymotic research page uh, on my computer. And in fact, on the side of the computer, I have the USB cable plugged in, which you can see. And running it all the way back, here I have the air set uh, being charged. And if you notice, uh, there's a little orange light, and the orange light is indicating uh, that it's charging. Looking at it just a little bit more closely, you can see in the to the right of the orange blinking light, uh, there's a button, and that button is a play and a pause button. Uh, down below there are four buttons. The uh, top and the bottom is a plus and a minus, and then we have a fast forward uh, and, a, uh, and, a, and a reverse. Uh, the left hand earpiece has the Edmonic Research 88 uh, logo on it. Uh, there are no visible buttons on this, and so this is nothing more uh, than the left earphone, uh, which is all controlled from the right hand side. And again, you can see the, uh, the earplug uh, that plugs in your ears, and hopefully uh, we're going to get great sound from it. So we're just going to just set the two of these down here for a moment, and we'll get to, uh, we'll get to look at it just a little bit later. Um, for a second, though, you know, the Edamonic Research uh, page is kind of a nice page to go to because it really gives um, a fairly good description of, of what the earphones are all about. The wireless, the high definition, uh, the noise isolating uh, in, in the ear plug. Of course, listening to music off of the laptop is not necessarily the best thing in the world, which is why I really wanted to have these Eddie 8 Bluetooth stereo headsets. So what I'm going to try to do now is I'm going to take and actually pair uh, the Bluetooth headset uh, with my laptop, and I want to see, you know, really see uh, how easy it is uh, to do so. So what I'm going to do, and I don't know if you can see this because I hit the light in the background, but I'm going to be pressing the power button uh, on the uh, on the Eddie 8. And when I press it, it's going to turn green, which turns it on. And I'm going to leave it pressed for a few more seconds, and all of a sudden you can see that it's blinking. So what I'm going to do now is over on the left-hand side, I'm going over and press new connection on the Bluetooth on my laptop. I'm going to just tell it to do the express mode. And what it's doing right now is it's searching for, uh, for a device. And in fact, it, it found that if you, if you can look at um, the very top, and I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if I zoom in if that will, if that will catch that or if it will be too blurry or not. But in fact, it says Edimonic Research, and I'm going to tell it next. And what it's doing now, it's, it's actually connecting uh, to the device. And I expect... Uh, yeah, and it just did. It came up with uh, a Bluetooth uh, passcode key. So I'm going to type in four zeros, one, two, three, four, and I'm going to click OK. And now it's setting up the device. And look at that. It's all paired. And the light is no longer uh, blinking. It's green. And if you can see right up here, all right, we have the Eddie Mount Research. There it is. Now, if you recall, just a second ago, um, I was playing music. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take and click on uh, this, and I'm just going to tell it to connect. So it says that it's now connecting, and hopefully, oh, there it is. It's all connected. If you take a look, uh, right, at, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it shows that it's connected. And because it is connected, I'll tell it to do it again. So I'm going to Windows Media Player, and I'm going to just tell it to play. Uh, Let's try She Loves You. So now, if I'm, uh, I just told it to play, and you can't hear a thing. But I can. And that's cool. That's cool. You know what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try to raise the volume up. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this so you can hear it through the headset.
Well, we'll find out if, if that sound is coming through there enough for you to hear it. What I'm going to do is put it in my ears, and I'll find out just how well, or how good it sounds, and how well it works. Whoa! The 88s by Edamonic Research. Very nice, very comfortable in my ears. I like it a lot. I'm going to play with the volume just a little bit. Yep, it works very, very nice, very nice. And now I'm going to take and just click the uh, the forward. Instantaneous change. So it definitely controls uh, the media player, which 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 I like. Um, firmly, firmly in my ears. Uh, they're very comfortable. They're very lightweight. Uh, I don't think I could jog with them. That's for sure. I think I think that they would come out. But that, that isn't what these are meant for. This is just meant for, for pleasure listening when you're in a situation where you want to have great stereo sound. Sounds real good. I'm very, very impressed. Very, very impressed. Okay. Jack Cook for Experience Mobility and Mobility Site. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Okay. You saw me pair the Eddie Yates with my laptop, and I expect that that is going to be the primary use for them. However, really... Uh, I know that people want to know how easy is it to pair with a device. So I'm going to take my Singular 8525 and just kind of like go a little bit through the process um, to make sure that in fact it does pair and that it pairs easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and come down on my device and I'll go to start and let's hope it comes up and settings and connections and Bluetooth. This is turn on Bluetooth devices, and now I'm going to go to new, new partnership. And before I do that, I'm going to take and go over to um, the 88, and I'm going to take and press the uh, the start uh, the power button, and I'm going to let it uh, command is green, and I'll just let it take and uh, stay there. And now it's blinking, so it's in pairing mode. And we'll just take and we'll just put this down, and we'll come over here to a new partnership. And click on that, and it's now searching for uh, a device. We'll see how long it takes. It may well find several devices. We'll find out. And there's the BioTX, the, and there it is, Edimonic. So I'm going to take and click on Edimonic and click Next. And it's asked me to enter a passkey, so we'll enter four zeros, one, two, three, four, and we'll click Next. And all of a sudden, it should be done. The light is still still uh, going green. I'll kind of hold it up here. All right, so it's still going green. On what it's going to be, if you notice, wireless stereo is what that says, and that's check. And I'll click finish. And oh, tell me you didn't hear that. All right, it is paired, and the light is solid green. That was instantaneous, wasn't it? And if you look uh, up here, you'll see the little stereo headset, with the little music icon right there. So it is working. So in fact, then if I uh, go to uh, a music file that I have, let's just go into my storage card, music, and Alabama, the Beatles. Let's do the Beatles again, and let's go to the, uh, the first disc, and we'll go to eight days a week, and I'm going to tell it to play, which it is, I believe, and I hope my volume is, let's put this volume at, at 100%, and I'm going to see if I press this power, There it is from one from one of the speakers. I'll bring up the, the second one, and we'll see how well uh, you guys can hear that. Can you hear that? I'll tell you, it's it's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. Okay, so you can see that it was pretty easy to pair with the laptop, and it worked well. Pretty easy, very easy to to pair with the device. Worked well. It means then that you now have this neat little package that you can take and have stereo wireless sound uh, with a with a great device. These are the Edimonic Research ETY8, the Eddie 8 uh, Bluetooth uh, wireless stereo headset.